Hello from a truck stop just outside of Casey, Indiana. I don't know if uh, the camera's gonna catch that uh, water tower over there, but it says Casey across the top. And how do you know you're in the Midwest? The uh, truck stop is right next to a farm. <laughs> yes, sir, we're out here in farm country. And wait, what's this? Look at that giant machine. That is a 40-foot Murata Class A motorhome. That was my first assignment as a new driver for Synergy RV Transport. And it was also a very comfortable uh, cabin to snooze in last night. So let's take a look. This thing is gigantic. Uh, slide outs on both sides, you can see there. I don't know what this thing would cost, $150,000, $200,000. Here's my very slick new Chevy Sonic in royal blue. I like that color. Uh, I did have a little issue with uh, last night driving along. Uh, it's, any good driver knows to check your equipment every time you stop. The strap that holds that tire to the trailer broke. And uh, I, I thought that was a silly, you know, the, they, the, the, with their design, they have straps that, that kind of wrap around the tire, but they're not very secure. So I'm not even going to try to go back to that. I'm going to strap the, t the wheel itself to the, uh, the, and the frame. I've got a, the straps going underneath the trailer attached to the frame. I'm going to hold that car on there for sure. Uh, would be not a good thing if my car slid off the trailer, <laughs> rolled over, crash. Cause a big accident. Oh, and look at this. Uh, these things gotta get a better magnet on these damn things. They don't, don't stay on very well. But the lights work, but they don't stay on. So, what do you say? Let's take a tour of this thing. It's uh, uh it's remarkable. Once you're driving, you know, it's kind of it doesn't seem all that big, but when I ever it's, it's it's when you stop and you have to turn into places and uh, maneuver. That's when you know how big you are when you're driving something like this. So, oh, much quieter over here. Let's uh, step in and take a look. Here's the deal. The um, uh, folks at Synergy, uh, the, the company that did hired me to do this, and look at that uh, snazzy captain's chairs and a beautiful cockpit for driving. Adjust the light, there we go. And of course, my ever-present coffee mug. Anytime I'm traveling, that's gonna be there. Uh, as it was explained to me, if people ask, well, do you get to use the motorhome while you're traveling? These are new motorhomes. They're supposed to be delivered new. So when I asked, well, can we, as for traveling, a uh, huge expense would be uh, uh, hotels, if we had to stay in hotels. So the, the folks at Synergy did not say yes or no whether or not I could sleep in the motorhome. They just said, once when the motorhome was delivered, there can be no evidence that it was lived in. Follow that? Okay. So I can't use any, you can't prepare any food in here. They don't want, they want the microwave still had the seal on it. The, the refrigerator still has seals on it. So, but back here, now you can see how tight this is because these are slide outs right here. These should slide out and allow a lot more space. But while driving, I'm gonna work on my way through here. You see this nice, cozy, comfortable bed. Well, just put my bedroll on top of that, move the pillows out of the way but use my own pillow, and it was a very comfortable sleep. Uh, remarkably, oh, today is uh, August 21st, uh, 22nd, excuse me, 20, uh, Wednesday, August 22nd. <laughs> this, this is, I've, I've decided that motor homes like this that are so expensive, like a nice big TV for, for him and her snoozing, you can be watching the TV. Uh, I, motor homes are for people who like to be able to drive their house. <laughs> That's all I could figure, because it's really rather cumbersome, uh, very expensive. Uh, but for people who are into this, you can see it's it is quite luxurious. Uh, anyway, today's October. October. What is it? I just woke up. Uh, I I drove until uh, 3:30 a.m. and I'm just waking up. It's uh, about 11 and. I've had a little bit of coffee, but I decided I wanted to do this tour uh, before I get back on the road. Uh, being August 22nd, Wednesday, so uh, even though it's August and we are in uh, Indiana, in the Midwest, it's remarkably cool. It was it's right now 65 degrees. Last night it got down into the 50s. So even though I'm traveling in August and, and I can't run the uh, air conditioner, mind you, you know, can't 
run anything in the mobile or the motorhome it was really very comfortable nice cool that's that's the best to uh, the way i like to sleep before so so there you go that's my what, what i'm doing now i'm cruising around uh driving a motor I, I did not expect my very first assignment to be one of these monsters this these are the big ones this is the you know he's about the size of a bus almost uh, I thought they'd send me on a short trip with a small vehicle. You know, maybe I'd go to Ohio or uh, St. Louis or something. No, they. My very first trip is a giant motorhome going uh, right at a thousand miles. This, I'm going to be delivering this just outside of Houston, Texas. So I got my first leg of the drive done last night. Do a bunch of driving today, and then I expect to be delivering this in Houston on Thursday. Um. Not much more to tell you. That's the that, that's the whole deal. Uh, what a switch it is! Driving my sporty little compact car there. That's a uh, Chevy Sonic LT Turbo, turbocharged with a six-speed manual transmission. And uh, man, that is a zippy little car to drive. So it's quite a it's it's a nice switch to go from uh, that to that and then back again because uh, th this thing. Well, one thing about driving a really big vehicle when you're on the highway, folks make room for you. <laughs> you don't have the, the, the jerks in pickup trucks coming right up and tailgating or trying to race around you in a hurry. You know, they, they, they you got the you got the size advantage. They're gonna give you a nice, uh, nice wide berth. Uh, but like I say, when you really notice this, you, your size is when you get off the freeway, and you know that I man, you have to make all kinds of room every time you make a turn. Uh, cannot pull into a parking lot unless you're sure that you don't have to back out You know because uh, if, if I can back up the motorhome But with that trailer because it's actually two separate axles on the trailer It's almost impossible to back up a vehicle like this especially because you can't even see it, you know from your uh, from, Although the these um, new motorhomes do have rear view cameras there are cameras on both sides. When you turn on a turn signal, it shows you your side view. And then uh, just normal driving, it shows you a rear view. So it's kind of nice to be cruising down the highway and I can check in the, the rear view camera. It's a screen inside the uh, cockpit up there. And see my trusty Chevy Sonic dutifully towing along behind the vehicle. So, uh, haven't had any real wild experiences other than on my very first trip, one of the straps broke on the, the, the tow dolly here. This is this give you a look at what the, how it's designed. So I, this is these are the straps that you're supposed to use, and you can see. Well, look at this. This one has slid way down. Uh, you know they they don't really attach to anything. They're just just the force of being pressed against the tire, and you can see the tire has actually. The, the, Hold back a little bit. I'm going to have to adjust that to get it tightened. There should not be a gap right here. That should be pressed up. Lousy design. Okay, so I am not going to be using that anymore. I'm going to strap the wheel and the frame to the trailer, not the tire. Uh, and poor car. One, one thing. Uh, they, they have shields you can buy that go on the front of the trailer to protect, protect the front of the car. I've already discovered right away that's not the problem. It's these tires that flip up the mud and road dirt that they get the side of your car filthy and there's nothing no way to protect that so just got to accept the fact that your tow behind car is gonna get dirty uh, okay that's it so i'm gonna go have some more coffee uh freshen up a little bit have some breakfast and get back on the road oh one last thing there's at the back is where you fuel this thing up that's where the gas tank is my first fuel up i, I stopped because uh there's just a little bit of fuel, so before I even got out of town, I stopped at an expensive gas station and put $50 of fuel in. And then, uh, oh, maybe 40 miles down the road, I stopped again and put $150 in. So, uh, in my first half hour of driving this thing, I'd already put $200 of the fuel into it. Yep, big machines require big fuel. So, now we're getting lots of noise now. I'm going to shut it down and get back on the road. Bye!